Welcome back to Superyacht International. In this video I will be discussing the Colreg sound signals. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What are sound signals? Sound signals are used to signal intentions on the water. Almost every boat must be fitted with a sound producing device such as a whistle, bell, horn or gong. There are two types of sound signals. Maneuvering and restricted visibility. Sound signals are found in the Colregs, Rules 32 to 37. Using sound signals. Sound signals are used in sight of another vessel. If you're going to meet or cross at a distance of one another within one half a mile you need to signal. These signals are not to be used when visibility is limited by fog. There are different signals to be used with restricted visibility. These are found in the Colregs, Rule 35. Sound signal definitions. A short blast is 1 second. A prolonged blast is 4 to 6 seconds. Maneuvering signal is to be used within half a mile sight. Restricted visibility is any condition in which visibility is reduced. This can be fog, mist, falling snow, sandstorms, heavy rainstorms, or any other similar causes. For the full Colregs, visit www.imo.org. Maneuvering signals. These signals are used to show vessel movements in normal visibility and will be produced by any sound signaling equipment. One short blast represents altering course to starboard. Two short blasts represent altering course to port. Three short blasts represent operating a stern propulsion. Five short blasts represent your intentions are unclear. One long blast represents getting underway or warning when approaching a bend. Overtaking signals. These signals are used when overtaking a vessel or being overtaken for safe movement of all vessels involved. Two long and one short blast represents overtaking on starboard side. Two long and two short blasts represent overtaking on port side. One long and one short and one long and one short represents I agree. Restricted visibility signals for maneuvering. These signals are used in restricted visibility when maneuvering. They should be made by an appropriate sound signaling device and at the correct time interval. One long blast represents vessel underway and making way. Two long blasts represent vessel underway and not making way. One long and two short blasts has a few meanings. It represents sailing, towing, not under command, restricted in ability to maneuver, constrained by draft and fishing. One long and three short blasts represent the last vessel in the tow. For short blasts represent a pilot vessel. It is important to note. All sound signals must be sounded at least every two minutes. Restricted visibility signals for anchoring. These signals are used in restricted visibility when anchored. They should be made by an appropriate sound signaling device and at the correct time interval. One short and one long and one short represents the optional anchor sound also used as a warning. Five seconds of rapid ringing bell represents a vessel at anchor under 100 meters. Five seconds of rapid ringing bell followed by five seconds of rapid ringing gong represents a vessel at anchor over 100 meters. Three bells followed by five seconds of rapid ringing bell followed by three bells represent a vessel aground under 100 meters. Three bells followed by five seconds of rapid ringing bell followed by three bells followed by the sound of a gong represents a vessel aground, under 100 meters. It is important to note. All sound signals must be sounded at least every one minute. Things to remember. All actions at sea when altering course or maneuvering should be four things. These are early, clear, substantial and follow the coal regs. There are also some key actions to take in restricted visibility. 
These are slow down or stop, fix your position, maintain a constant lookout by all available means, and respond accordingly to sound signals. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel.